So the, uh, one, of, one of the first races that I was heading towards, races, was the Warwick Pentath Run. And um, so I started training towards that and the first year, I think that might have been back in 2011, I took part in the, my first Warwick Pentath Run. And, and I think uh, it had a, a, a major impact on um, as the, journey, uh, the journey I've taken now with my running. Um, so thank you very much Warwick Penthouth Run for starting my uh, running career in my 50s. Uh, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer and anyone out there that has been diagnosed with cancer or any of these um, diseases and modern diseases knows that it can, sometimes can change a person and you start very very gradually seeing life in a different way and in, in a lot of, lot, of, lot of ways it's actually um, there can be something good that comes out of it and you start to see life in a different context and start looking for all the um, the little things you know it's, it's, it's enjoying the little things that matter And so I um, realised that I wasn't happy in my life at the time and, and um, that possibly the stress from that could have been a contributing factor to my cancer. So I analysed um, my relationship, uh, my marriage and realised that I had to do something. I couldn't live the next 30 years the way I had lived the, far, the past 30 years. I can still jump! Come on, babe, finish off, come on, that's it. Mr. Two, go, girl, go. Now we have, a, uh, we have a little group here. Do we have a fine hand? Oh, no, she's overtaken him, he's overtaken her, she's overtaken him, and then, then I'm 12. Storms through the line. Well done, Katrina Crook. Well done, James. Well done, Kath. And there's Sonia Carr, one of our other ambassadors, crosses the line. Look at her, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing on her feet. So, one afternoon I just decided I'd go for a run and that wasn't that long ago and realised that the way I felt at school running was still the way I could feel in my 50s when I ran. So uh, I thought, wow, you know, this really felt good. So that's where my running started only just five years ago. And in amongst that, uh, it's, it started to manifest itself into uh, the feeling of freedom and, and, and lightness and the possibilities of where you could go. And I, I just can remember going for a run of an afternoon or early in the morning and, and seeing the mountains and the roads in the distance. And I just wanted to keep running further and further and further. And the more I thought these thoughts, the more I felt free. And that's, that freedom is what I get out of out of my running. Just just the joy of, of just feeling so alive. And um, 
yeah, I mean, anywhere we are in life, I think that um, when we embrace uh, a healthy, li a healthier lifestyle uh, to reduce stress, and that's always going to be a good thing. Like, and obviously, then as you become more uh, fit and through the activity, you start looking at your um, lifestyle in general of. Uh, you know what are you eating um you know what are you thinking so i started eating better and started um tr trying to do some meditation and mindfulness and 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 just thinking better thoughts and and through that um i become happier and happier and a, str a strength i started feeling a strength that i'd never felt before So, and that also helped me then to make the decision to to leave my marriage and um, and move on on my own um, and to embrace my my new life. So uh, it's just opened up so many new avenues I've made now. So many new friends through uh, my running. Four in you. That's good, sweetie. Go, 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 go. Uh, but, but also then, of, of the last few years or so, I've decided to uh, predominantly run barefoot. And, and that's for a lot of reasons, because I was starting to feel a few injuries um, through my knees and my... Uh, ankles and that and um, my partner has suggested that I try the the uh, natural form movement through the the barefoot running that it can sometimes help to alleviate some of the um, injuries that we cause when we first start running and and it did that uh, I, I run now uh, more lightly and um, naturally more like this freedom I'm speaking about with what I get from my running it feels even better now that I'm I'm doing it um, barefoot uh, and it reminds me of um, being a child you know just be able to just it doesn't matter where you are you just you know just go for a run you don't need any special shoes or any special outfits to do so you just run like you would if you were a, a child you know so the the um, that is predominantly what I enjoy the most about my running is the freedom, the freedom that it has has given me to just develop the strengths that we have within ourselves when we do have freedom to be ourselves. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it actually. <laughs> it's all about me wanting just to fly. How I can explain how what the run how the running made me stronger to get myself out of my troubled marriage is that um, I set myself a goal. Uh, I wanted to do a marathon. And, and I, I, I didn't know how I could possibly run a marathon. I mean, I just thought, how can I possibly run that far? But I thought, if I could run a marathon, the mental discipline that you have to have to, to get yourself that far to the first marathon, it's just so powerful. So every morning I'd get up and um, at that time I was running in the mornings because uh, that was the best time for me to run and I'd get up and it was cold and misty and frosty and 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 you you get up and you just go 
oh, you fight through the pain and the cold because you've got that goal. So working for those months and months towards the first marathon, you, you keep thinking, you know, if I can do this, then I can do anything. Certainly looking forward to everybody coming back, perhaps with a friend next year, to make the Warwick Daily News Penrith run bigger and better in 2017. It's been great to have you here this weekend. Therese King. Big hand for Sonia Carr there, crossing the line. Well done, Sonia. A growth for me that I, I, I knew now that I could take take on the next step of the next stage of this journey and um, yeah I, I was then stronger than I was before and I was able to get myself through all this hardship and all this pain that that I went through getting out of my marriage and I've never looked back I also realised that it, it has uh, not uh, like it helped me to to battle even my thoughts of um, recovering from the cancer. So recovering from the cancer and recovering from the broken marriage, the the, the um, it, it had it, it strengthened me in a way that so what else can I do with this? So I um, we, I actually did a long run a few years back. Um, which incorporated um, five days doing 219 kilometres raising money for um, to help to find a cure for cancer and in that in that particular five days when I was doing that I realized that I want to my message is more about how can we prevent this cancers from happening in the first place and and, and it's all now about me uh, promoting health and well-being through um, a, a healthy active lifestyle so um, and and I want to be healthy and active into uh, my my later years and it's not about like like people it's not about the metal hall it's about the long haul and I want to be here still doing my wonderful running and my healthy active lifestyle into my 90s and beyond hopefully I'm still actually doing it when I'm a hundred that'd be great wouldn't it that'd be awesome that's pretty much it actually it's all about me wanting just to fly <laughs>